All right, just when you thought things couldn't get worse for the Boeing company, today the European Union's aviation regulator is reportedly concerned about the 737 MAX jet. EU regulators are apparently worried that the changes made to the plane's new software just isn't enough. The 737 MAX remains grounded following those two fatal plane crashes. Meantime, a former Ethiopian Airlines engineer is now blowing the whistle, claiming that the carrier went into maintenance records on the 737 MAX a day after it crashed this year, which is a breach. He claims it was part of a pattern of corruption that included fabricating documents. So a lot to unpack here. Uh, joining us now to discuss uh, Jamie Finch. She's a former NTSB official. Jamie, thank you for being with us. Uh, so let's start with that top uh, EU aviation regulators. Sure. Um, the, the concern that they've expressed is that the, the changes that the MAX has, has received mm -hmm. in their software just <clears throat> isn't enough. They want to keep it grounded. Right. Uh, that's obviously going to be a major blow to Boeing's bottom line. Right. Um, don't know how it's going to affect us here, but at least in Europe. And, and do you think other countries might follow suit because the Europeans are saying no thanks to Max? Well, they've, they've been making this noise for quite some time uh, with the Europeans and also other regulators around the, the world of, of wanting to certify these planes themselves because yeah. the FAA has damaged its reputation so much and sullied itself with Boeing uh, in this particular 737 MAX situation that uh, the, uh, the other regulators are just not taking everything that comes from FAA as gospel. They're, right. they're wanting to certify it themselves. They're very frustrated with, with the process. They're very disappointed as we all should be uh, with with FAA and with Boeing uh, for for the uh, improper certification of this that's, plane. That's a blight on, on America it as is, well. It is, it, it is. And, and, and this is, you know, Boeing is such a, a huge component of our economy. It's, you know, our, our nation's largest exporter. I mean, it, it, and, and we are, have always been a global leader in aviation. Yeah. And now, you know, we're, 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 that's been tarnished and it could be possibly damaged because you now have, uh, you know, not only Airbus, but you now have the Japanese coming in, the Mitsubishi company is coming out with their own really? uh, passenger plane, and also the Chinese and the Russians. All of them are coming out with their, you know, so you're giving them a uh, more ground uh, and, and uh, opportunities for, uh, you know, someone else to, to go shop. To business. Sure, exactly. So they, wow. they've, they've opened up this for themselves. Now, the last time you were here, uh, you also brought up uh, the, the idea of actual pilots testing this right. stuff out and, and not just uh, like you told us about the, the iPad training, iPad. which was, I mean, just jaw dropping to find out right. pilots are f learning to fly right. on this plane on an iPad. Right. I mean, is there any more development there? Well, it, it, it's very interesting. I mean, it, it's not uncommon to have updates and so forth and to do some refreshers on an iPad. Okay. But in this particular situation, so it's this common is in the industry. To... It is common in the industry, wow. you know, for certain certain types of, of, of training. But when you're basically dealing with a brand new plane, which is what the 737 MAX is. Yeah. It was not portrayed as that, but in, in fact, it, it, it really is. And so, you needed to put the pilots into the cockpit, as we've now discovered, right. and, and deal with all these alarms going off at the same time, and the human factors that go into, the, into flying a plane that, to be able to uh, adjust immediately and respond properly to a plane, the way it's telling you. Can't those rules be put in by the NTSB? Can't that be a law? Well, it, well NTSB is only a uh, investigative agency. That's uh, they, the FAA, they, rather. Yes, the FAA, the FAA makes the regulations. But uh, the NTSB is and has already started making recommendations to FAA and Boeing and others about this. The recommendation is very polite. <laughs> well, the, well the, the recommendations, the NTSB's only stock and trade is its reputation. Right. And it protects it at all costs because if they are, if their reputation is ever damaged, their recommendations are then going to be tarnished, and that's right. that's and no what they do. No one's going to believe the investigators, exactly. after, so they're not going to risk that. Exactly, and so uh, and so there's a lot at risk here. There's a lot of disappointment. And how, but you asked the question or mentioned a few minutes ago, how is this going to affect us? And without with this with this being delayed, well, this is going to this is going to affect affect the American travel traveling public and the global traveling public because it's going to slow. You know, uh, it's going to delay flights. It's going to cancel flights. There's not going to be the aircraft that are going to be there needed to get them to to their destinations. Uh, a lot of airlines are already uh, uh, yeah. telling us how much money that they've lost. That they've gone back to 2014 
levels. Wow. Uh, yeah, so we, we're, they're going back from five years. They, and, and, so, and now you're also seeing lawsuits from Southwest Airlines and their pilots on the lost income that they've had. So you, this is this thing is yeah, still so going. So it's not just a, an EU thing. This no. is going to affect us no, here is, domestically. This is a global thing. It, it, yeah. and, yes. and last, I, I want to hit on this Ethiopian Airlines engineer who's apparently blowing the whistle. His name's uh, Jonas uh, Yeshenu, right. who resigned this summer. He's seeking asylum, asylum right. here in the U.S. He filed the complaint, you know, that 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 people went into the maintenance records of the 737 mm -hmm. Max a day after it crashed. Correct. I mean, if they fabricated documents. I mean, this looks terrible. I mean, how's Boeing responding to all of this? Well, I think the the, the, the investigation itself is going to have to play out. Uh, Boeing, I'm sure, is uh, very curious about this because they're wanting to know, you know, what were you not doing for our plane maintaining it? To make sure that it would not, you know, the cr crash, um, and so there's a lot, at, lot at stake here. But also, I mean, the, the investigation has to play out. We have to make sure that uh, this pilot is, is telling the truth. Um, did, did this actually happen? I'm not saying that nothing that he said is wrong. Right. I'm not saying right. that anything that he said is right. But we have to follow the process and, and get to the bottom of this and make sure that no one side or the other isn't influencing unduly. The yeah, other. this is a jumping off point. Right, because correct. Because he says this happened, so let's correct. look into it. Sure. All right, very diplomatic of you, Jamie. Right, <laughs> thank you so much, Jamie Finch, sure. sharing your expertise with us. You're very welcome. Hey, YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.